Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. Touching his hymn followers. Good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Good morning. It is Faith Bill Friday, and I'm so excited to be here right now with you sharing the good news of the gospel, sharing the love of Jesus, sharing the love of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many know that Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Glory to God. Good morning, Talene. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful Friday here on the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. And we just came to give God some praise. We came to give God some glory. We came to lift him up in spite of, in spite of the situation, in spite of the circumstance. We came to give God glory. Why? Because he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We will not let any situation, circumstance uh, uh, curtail our praise of the Most High God. We will not at anything, we will not let anything come between our praise, come between our worship, come between um, um, lifting up holy hands come between just saturating the atmosphere with the goodness and the glory of the Lord so I'm just going to give you guys a few minutes to come on in and share and uh, like and share the video how many you know I just found this out this week of uh, someone has said this on a video that they were doing that when you share you are evangelizing so be an evangelist today share the video like it share it so that others may be blessed by this word I do believe I have a word from the Lord that will be a blessing not only to you but to those that you come in contact with those that are in your social media stream so just share the video amen god bless you hallelujah i'm just praying right now because i feel the presence of the holy spirit saturate the atmosphere lord saturate the atmosphere lord let this be none of me and all of you father god in the name of jesus go ahead and share the video share the broadcast with uh with those hallelujah that you're in contact with i'm getting ready to share it glory to god hallelujah good morning ashley hallelujah go ahead and share hallelujah so that others may be blessed hallelujah glory to the most high mm. glory to god thank you holy spirit mm. thank you holy spirit hallelujah thank you holy Kotana. thank you holy spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you Glory to God. I'm sharing right now. Hallelujah. That others may be blessed. Hallelujah. Others may be blessed. So, glory to God. This morning, amen, hallelujah. This morning, we want to talk about how joy is coming. Um, I have been posting um, a lot of, of, of uh, quotes and scriptures and things that nature that God has been blessing and giving me this week about hope and about faith and about joy and um i know that a lot of you um because of of what's going on you know the COVID 19 is trying to spike back up you know we've heard all these different prophetic words um uh, to the negative but how many you know this is time for us to intercede on behalf of ourselves and intercede on behalf of our nation but God is really letting me know that you know we we a lot of people are, are feeling depressed they're feeling downtrodden but we know that joy comes in the morning weeping may endure for the night my scripture is coming from Psalms hallelujah from Psalms chapter 30 verse 5 and I want to read that for you uh, for your hearing hallelujah thank you my necklace God bless you um, my necklace is um, Paparazzi, and I purchased it through my my paparazzi consultant. Um, I will put her link in the page. Yvette Benson, Amen. God bless you. Thank you. It is beautiful. <laughs> um, but it's coming from Psalms chapter thirty, and it's uh, verse five. And read verse five B, and it says, "Weeping may endure from the night." Come from the King James version, but joy cometh in the morning. So. Weeping endure for now. That means that some of you, you're, you've 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 cried on your pillow. Your pillow has been soaked with tears, and and God sees. The scripture declares that he ca that he catches all of your tears in a bottle. He sees your tears. He sees your cries. He 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 knows what's going on. He sees it, and 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 he knows and he cares. 
He knows and he cares. He sees your cries at the midnight hour. So many are so are depressed right now. Some have lost jobs and, and different things. But how many of you know that hope is on the horizon? Joy is coming in the morning. That means that that when it says joy is coming in the morning, that means that this is a temporary situation. Some of y'all type that into the chat. This is a temporary situation. Well, Mary, this has been going on since since the beginning of March. We've been closed down since March. What do you mean this is temp? This is a temporary situation. People of the Most High, this is temporary. When you dig in, dig in, dig in. Hear me now. When I say dig in, I, I mean go deep into your spiritual prayer closet. Go deep into your prayer closet. Lord, talk to them. Everything that you're crying out, everything that you're feeling, all of your fears, all of your, your, your depressed mood, all, everything, lay that at his feet. I had to do that. I had to do that this week. I'm not, I'm just going to be transparent. I was feeling overwhelmed with some of the pressures of life. Hallelujah. But I went to God and I just laid in my bed and I cried. And I said, Father, I need more of you. I want to go deeper in you. I want a more revelation of you, more revelation of you. And God began to just, just encounter me. He just began to show me his glory. Hallelujah. You got to go, you got to go deeper. And I, and I do really believe. This is not the time for us to shrink back from God. This is the time for us to go into the deep water. Somebody put that in the chat. Go into the deep waters with the Father. You want your joy restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God says the joy of the Lord is my strength. You want to be restrengthened? Put on some praise. Put on some worship. And just begin to dance before the Lord. Begin to dance. I even did that. I began to dance before the Lord this week. I just began to turn on some praise. Hallelujah. Begin to shake myself and dance before the Lord. You know, there are many different types of spiritual warfare. But how many of you know, just because the enemy comes in, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, he will lift up a standard against him. That standard, that banner is a weapon. He's like, no, hold up. Wait a minute. I see my daughter is crying. I see my son is despondent. Come on, y'all lift up a standard. See the spirit of the Lord on the inside of you. Come on. The spirit of the Lord on the inside of you. We will get that holy indignation and say, wait a minute. This is not my portion. This is not where I belong because joy is is coming. Hallelujah. My tears are only temporary. This is only a temporary situation. God did not mean for me to stay here. He did not mean for me to stay here. Come on, somebody. He did not want you to stay where you are. He wants you to gird up. He wants you to gird up. Put on your spiritual weapons. Hallelujah. Our weapons are not carnal. You can't fight the enemy with, with carnal weapons. How many of you know that praise is a weapon and, and, and worship is a weapon and, and prayer is a weapon and the word of God is the weapon? And, and, and God wants you to know and you can't just scratch the surface with the word either. God wants us to have deep roots in the word. Deep roots in the word, meaning we not only read it, but we study it. We ingest it. We take it in. Until our faith is built up. Till our faith is so strong that no matter what the enemy brings our way. How did I both say? Yeah, can I both shout out about Sunday? No matter what the enemy may bring our way. Mm. That we are being strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the power of his might. That means that we can't do this in our own strength. Hallelujah. Yes, I worshiped and yes, I praised. But when I was worshiping and when I was praising, I began to feel the power of the living God begin to stir something up in me. And I began to loose that thing, that depressive mode. I began to loose that, that, that fear. I began to loose as Shetable see. I began to loose myself from it. I began to loose myself from my despondency. I began to loose myself from the way I was feeling. I began to take up. Hallelujah. Shekete. I began to take up. Hallelujah. That weapon. Hallelujah. That weapon of faith. That shield of faith. We have spiritual weapons. We have spiritual weapons. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Share this, y'all. I'm telling you. There are so many out there that are in that same place. And we have what they need. We have what they need. We have what they need. How dare you not share the good news of the gospel with those that are hurting. Hallelujah. We should want 
called to know Christ. Hallelujah. That is our mandate. When you say, I'm not a minister, I'm not a, a licensed evangelist, guess what? When you become a servant of the Most High God, when you say that I take the Lord into my heart and I receive him, you automatically begin to become a minister. A minister is not just one who has a license. A minister is one who serves. You begin to serve. You become a servant. You become a servant of the Most High God. Share this good news. Let others know that they don't have to be depressed. They don't have to be downtrodden. Why? Because weeping will endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. How many know it's morning time? Put that in the chat. It's morning time. It's morning time. It's time for us to lift up holy hands. It's time for us to go before the throne of God. It's time for us to worship in spite of. Let me give you a testimony. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Lord right now. I'm sorry if I'm not replying to your post, but I feel this presence so strong. Mm. Glory to God. Let me give you a testimony. I was concerned this week about some financial endeavors. <laughs> I was concerned about some financial endeavors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had the money for it, but I was going to, I didn't know if I had enough to cover what I needed to cover. How many know that God is a God of more than enough? When you begin to sow into the kingdom of God, when you begin to, to sow your finances and sow your, your time and sow your energy, hallelujah, God will cover you and he will give you not only what you need, but he will give you extra. Ha! Huh? He gives you extra. So guess what, y'all? I didn't even have to, not only did I not have to pay it, mm, Somebody paid it for me. Come on, somebody. I didn't have to pay a dime. Somebody paid it for me so I could take that find that money that I needed to use for something to pay one thing to pay something else. Glory to God. So my debt was already covered. It was covered in heaven. God already knew what was going to happen. He already knew. He was like, Mary, do you trust me? Do you not know that this is your morning? Come on. This is my morning. Hallelujah. Because what you have sowed in tears, you will reap in joy. Come on, somebody. You will reap reap in joy. Come on now. Whatever you have sown in tears, you will reap in joy. And I give God praise for that right now. I have sown. I have sown. I have sown financially into various ministries because I'm expecting a harvest into certain situations. Hallelujah. But God is saying, guess what? It's coming. It's coming. But I'm going to give you a glimpse. I'm going to give you a glimpse. Yesterday was a glimpse. <laughs> Yesterday was a glimpse. For those of you who don't believe huh? what I'm saying right now, why don't you try him? Huh? Why don't you try him. Why don't you try him? Put your trust in the living God. Put your trust in the living God. I don't mean to get off topic, but I want to give you that testimony to let you know that this is your morning. This is your morning. This is your morning. When you begin to seek the face of God, like never before, God even told me yesterday, Mary, when they seek me with their whole heart, don't be a surface Christian. Don't just do church as usual. God is showing us that church as usual ain't working. Huh. Can I get an amen? Come on, I need some thumbs, some hearts and thumbs up on that. Church as usual is not working. It's not working. It's not working. Come on. It's time to go deeper. And not just with your mouth, but actually with your actions. Come on. Not just with your mouth, but with your actions. It's time for you to turn your plate over. I'm talking to I'm talking to somebody right now because somebody has on this on this live has some situation and circumstance that they feel that they cannot go through on their own. You can't. Can I tell you? You can't. You can't go through it on your own. You need help. That was another thing I posted this week. You need help. But are you crying out to the right one? Are you posted on social media? Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. I see so many posted about they need prayer. But have you prayed? Have you sought the face of God? You want people to go into a group? I'm, I'm just telling. All right, look. Huh, come on. Have you sought the face of God? Have you gone into your prayer closet? Have you turned over your plate? Have you fasted? Have you sought the face of God? And when you post, are you asking those who can really pray and intercede and get a prayer through? Are you just posting because you have the victim mentality? I, oh, Because you want somebody to feel sorry for you. Mm. I said it. I said it. I said it because I said it. Because Holy Spirit let me say it. Come on, G. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
It's time out. It's time out. It's time out. If nothing else that you have learned from 2020, everybody is, is, is in, in, in division. There's no collective unity. God is, is calling for us to be unified in him. He's calling for us to, to go deeper in him. He's calling for us to, to, to seek his face in a deeper level. Come on. Come on. I hope y'all sharing this. I hope you're sharing this. I hope you're sharing this. Somebody needs to be set free. Somebody needs to be set free today. And I'm help, I'm gonna, I want to help you be free. Go deeper. Because your joy is coming. It's coming. This is only a temporary situation. If nothing else that we've learned from 2020, if we see how the, the state of our world, the state of our land right now, so much division, things have been exposed. But God said, I'm exposing it for a reason. I'm exposing it so that you can intercede for it. I'm not just exposing it for you to get out and march about it. Guess what? I'm exposing for those who, who know me to intercede on, my, on their behalf. Huh? Intercede for your nation. Intercede for race relations. Intercede. Come on. Intercede. Huh? Woo! Hey, can't tell about Saka. Come on. Intercede. <clears throat> Come on. That's right, Ashley. God will confuse the enemy. Mm. God will confuse the enemy. When you seek the face of God with your whole heart, when you go before him and you lay it all on the line, you go, you are naked and vulnerable before the Lord. When I say naked, I mean that you just lay out your heart before him. He already knows, but he wants his children to see him as a father. And how many know you can always talk to your daddy? Hmm? You can always talk to your daddy. You can get in your daddy's lap and you can tell daddy anything and everything that concerns you. And he is concerned about the things that concern you. So, this has been a live that's talking about the joy that's coming. This is only a temporary situation. Because <laughs> it is. Come on. Come on. There are those right now who are at peace. Because they know where their help comes from. They're at peace because they are anchored in the Lord. Come on. They are anchored. They are anchored. They're, they have deep roots in the word. They meditate on it. To meditate on something means to mull it over, to chew it. Mm. That means you take, if that means you get one scripture, God give you one scripture. You take that scripture. You study that scripture. You break that scripture down. You get reference that scripture. You, 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 you think about that scripture. Let God give you deep revelation about that scripture. That, that's meditating on his word. That's meditating. Taking it to the Lord. Lord, what are you saying to me in this scripture? What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. God is greater. Hallelujah. God is greater. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is greater. I give God praise right now. I give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 I pray that this life has blessed you. Weeping may does endure for a night, but joy is coming. Joy is coming. But we have a part to play in that. You know, you can release your own joy. You can go in and you can just say, I'm tired of the enemy playing kickball with my brain. <laughs> I'm tired of him playing kickball with my emotions. I'm tired of you going me here and there. Get, be still. Be intentional about your prayer time. Be intentional about your time with the Lord. Be intentional. That means this is when I'm going to do it. If that means you got to be in your shower and have the word playing on your phone, I do that. If you're driving in your car, you got your word playing or you're listening to a, 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 a YouTube video that's going to increase your faith, that's going to strengthen you. Hallelujah. That's going to strengthen you. Come on. Hi, Shante. <laughs> that's going to strengthen you. That's going to strengthen you. That's going to encourage you. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all better share this. I'm telling you. This is going to help some people. Be intentional. Be intentional about your time. A lot of times I, I go to bed early, but God wakes me up at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Y'all like, why is Mary live in Hawaii? Why is she posting at 6 o'clock in the morning? That's 1 o'clock there. It's because I'm awake. <laughs> He's woke me up. I'm posting. I'm encouraging. I'm praying. I'm reading my word. Yes, I'm meditating on the goodness of the Lord. Yes, I am. God has me in that place right now. <clears throat> And I, I continue to be in that place. 
until he changes my sleep schedule. <laughs> Amen. But be intentional. Be intentional. Don't be a surface Christian. You want, you want joy. You want peace. The things of God go deeper in him. Amen. Because we know weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. Amen. For those of you uh, on this on this live this morning, don't know, I have a book that's available. It's called Touching His Him, My Journey to Wholeness. It is about my story of how God, well, partial, because my story is still being written, being written right now. Um, it is about my story of how God took me from living a life of religiosity, almost all of my adult life, living a life of religion and how he allowed me to be crushed so that my oil could flow. To be broken before the Lord is growth. <laughs> to be broken before the Lord, <laughs> Woo, I would not be where I am right now had it not been for the breaking of me. So go to amazon.com, purchase the book, Touching His Hymn, I'll put the link. If you would like to have a signed copy, um, I'll also put this into the room so that you can um, get a signed copy from me. Um, I'm waiting for some more for more books to come. <laughs> I'm out right now. Um, I actually had the the, the, the uh, revision done in the book, so I had to reorder some. So they should be here at the end of the month. But if you um, can't wait, if you just want to get a copy, Touches His Hymn, My Journey to Wholeness, I'll put it into, um, into um, on my page. Um, also, um, so my, my next book is almost done. It's with my publisher right now for final re and finals and revision and everything. And it should be out sometime in August. I'm so excited. I can't wait. It's called God is Greater, Fighting Daily with Faith. <laughs> God is, y'all remember that. It's coming. It's, I'm so excited. And God has some other things in store. Uh, my website should be up next week. I'm telling you, uh, just because we're in this COVID-19 season does not mean you stop building. God will is downloading ideas into me, honey. Look, I'm telling you, God is doing something, and I am being obedient. Yes, Lord, what you're telling me, what you're saying, what you're saying, what you're saying, what you're saying, and I'm writing it down. Okay, Lord, what you're saying, what you're saying, what you're saying, I'm listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those who have liked and shared this video. If you do, have not been on my page and like my page, like the page, follow the page, Touching His Hymn Ministries. Yes, that is where I, I come on every Friday and I give what I do in the day, Faith Fill Friday. Some of this is just your first time seeing me on a live. You see me in the other platforms. <laughs> uh, Destiny's Call, you see me on there, getting many prophetic words. This is what God is doing, y'all. So, hey, Shantae and others. Uh, hey, Betty, LaShonda, God bless my SWAT sisters. We are SWAT strong. And I'm so thankful that God has allowed me to speak into your lives on today. Um, it's almost time for me to get to work, so I'm going to have to sign off. But Again, I love each and every one of you. I'm praying for you. And before I go, I can never, ever leave without offering Jesus to someone. If you do not know the Lord, if you do not know the Lord, oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is so good. I lived a life it, it, uh, uh, for so long. I was saved, but I had no relationship with Christ. And now that I am in relationship with him, I know him, I encounter him, I sit and talk to him and he talks to me and Holy Spirit encounters me to such a degree. Sometimes I feel like I'm literally out of my body. It is just amazing. I'm so, ooh, ooh, let me stop. <laughs> but listen, if you don't know Jesus and you want to know him because he loves you, he cares about you, he died for you and he rose again so that you did not have to endure, endure this life by yourself. You do not have to endure this life by yourself. The creator of the universe, our heavenly father, is right there. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to save me for my sins. I ask you to want to have a relationship with you. Forgive me for everything that I have ever done that did not please you, that was sinful. I lay it at your feet and I want to come into relationship with you. It's not about religion. It's about a relationship. I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my savior. I want you to be my all in all. And once you've accepted him into your heart, begin to get into the word of God and study the word and, 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 one of the things I would recommend is this, if uh, I, I love uh, watching YouTube videos and I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to uh, uh, shout out some people right now so that you can get some, some good foundational teaching. My, 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 my coach, Jennifer Eves, she's on YouTube. Um, my other, my mentor, my spiritual mom, my dad, uh, Gerald and Yvette Benton, 
uh, there on YouTube. Uh, you can go um, to get some, some good uh, prayer. You can listen to scriptures. I'm telling you, God is doing something in the kingdom. My, my, my other spiritual mom, Apostle Grace Cruz, she's on Facebook. Apostle Grace Cruz Ministry, she's on Facebook. Um, you can listen to her teachings. Amen. God has just, he has a wealth of great teachings. Also, my coach Jennifer Evans, their church is Harvest Church in Tur Turlock, California. Awesome, awesome uh, ministry. Awesome ministry. Great word. God is doing something. He does not want you to feel as though you are alone. He does not want you to feel as though you're alone. He wants to connect with you. He wants to be your Lord. He wants to be your Savior. Amen. God bless you. I have to go now. I can talk all day. For those of you who don't know, I am a talker. I love to talk, but I love to give the Word of God, and I love to encourage God's people. So, uh, God bless each of you. Mm, I love you so much, and aloha.